Hello, I'm Arvinda and I'm working with Starling on a project that's all about resilience. One great way to help develop resilience is to make sure that we've got strong support systems around us. We feel supported when we have positive relationships with supportive people. This might be family, friends, carers, or even people you've met through Starling. Some signs that somebody's supportive could be that they're a good listener, that they're non-judgmental, or that you feel like you could trust them. Maintaining friendships can feel really hard, especially in a global pandemic. One uplifting way to maintain and develop friendships is to work on a project together. Some of you might know Maya. I met Maya a couple of months ago through Starling and I thought she seemed like a really supportive person. We also had a lot in common, so I'd really like to maintain my friendship with Maya. Since we can't really meet up in person at the moment, I've decided to start a creative journal which me and Maya can share. I'm starting my journal with a message to Maya. I'm going to make sure to include a note wishing her good luck because I know that she's on the job hunt at the moment and I'd like to show my support. I also illustrated what I could see out of my window and left a little note for Maya asking what she could see out of hers. On the next page I doodled a gigantic postage stamp inspired by the one on my envelope. At this point it was just time to pack it up and get it ready to send. I'm excited to see how this project develops so stay tuned. If you guys like this idea then I've got good news for you because I made everybody their own empty zine and popped it inside your creative pack. So you can start your own creative journal with a family member or a friend. Look what's just arrived in the post. I'm excited to open it up and have a look. Oh wow, Maya's pages are amazing. She's done some rubbings, she's got some pressed flowers in there, and on this page it looks like she's done some printmaking. This time I've been inspired by Maya's printmaking to make some characters out of my fingerprints. Maya wrote a little message for me so I'm going to make sure to write one back. I wanted to do some collage this time so I'm just using an old magazine and cutting out letters that I want to use to make a message. On the next page I went for something a bit more abstract using a large hole punch to cut out small pieces of the magazine that had interesting colours and textures. So I've filled in a few more pages there and I think at this point I'm going to send it back to Maya. After passing it back and forth another couple of times, me and Maya have finally finished our zine. I really enjoyed working on this project with Maya and sharing our creative ideas. I also found it a really good way to stay in touch. 
If you like the look of any of the activities that me and Maya did to fill these pages, then please do have a go at home. Whether that's in your zine or as a separate activity. Otherwise, I hope you feel inspired by what you've seen today and that you'll have fun working on your own collaboration.